Okay, so here is a video um, explaining how to do number nine, okay? So any of these problems, we're doing them the exact same way. So what I mean by that is I'm going to first find my parent function and for a circle, a lot of people forgot the uh, equation for a parent function and that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And so I need to know how it moved and how, um, how the radius changed. So on the graph, what I'm going to do is I am going to find my middle and I'm going to find about my middle. Really, you're looking for the furthest out. And then when I do that, I see my center. But what I also see is a distance here, and that's my radius. So my radius in this case is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got part of it. Now we need to think about how to get back home. So my translation is, well, let's see. Well, I've got to move three this way, which is in the negative direction. So for x, I'm going to take each value and it's going to be x minus three. But then to get back to zero, zero, I have to move up two. Well, that's in the plus direction. Okay, so there's my translation vector. From there, I need to take each of these quantities, four, plug it in for r, x minus three, plug it into x, and y plus two, and plug it in for y. Now remember, when you're plugging something in exactly, you have to keep that quantity squared. So I want all of x squared. It was all squared here. So now I'm going to take quantity x minus 3 and square it. Not just taking the x plus the entire quantity of y and square it. And then instead of r, I'm going to write 4. Now when I look at this, I don't have to do any simplifying here. I can leave this just like this. It's a perfect answer. If I feel more comfortable writing that as x equals or as 16, 4 squared is 16, that's okay.